Now, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN Governor Godwin Emiefile, says the Apex Bank would consider tweaking the new weekly cash withdrawal limits of 100,000 naira and 500,000 naira for individuals and corporate bank customers. Now, Emiefile, who addressed state house correspondent after meeting behind closed doors with the President, Muhammad Buhari, in the Iraq at Sina State, assured that the Apex Bank would not be rigid on the policy as it was not meant to hurt anybody but to strengthen the nation's economy. He also hinted that over one trillion now worth of old notes had been deposited by bank customers, explaining that the CBN has distributed the new 200, 500 and 1,000 naira notes to banks for disbursement to their customers ahead of the December 15 earlier scheduled for circulation of the new notes. Now, we will be looking at all the angles to the new policy of cash withdrawal limit as they affect Nigerians and the digital economy. Welcome to Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonye. Now, first off, the House of Representatives has criticized the new policy introduced by the CBN, which, among others, set limits to cash withdrawals at the deposit money banks and other financial institutions. At the plenary, a lawmaker, Aliu Magaji, who moved the motion of urgent public importance, warns that the new policy would spell doom for the economy, as several people would lose their jobs, while traders artisans and rural dwellers would suffer because of the cash limits. We we'll also take the CBN's governor's reaction to the policy. The Central Bank of Nigeria will definitely have a negative impact on the already dwindling economy and further weaken the value of, Niger of, of, value of Nigerians and Nigeria and Nigerians may resort to using dollars and other currencies as means of trading and thus further devalue the Naira and weaken the economy. The House Resolve 1 to invite the CBN governor to come and brief the House on all this kind of all this policy he has been bringing out in the last one month. Two, to ask the central bank to receive this decision, the said policy because of his disadvantage, as earlier, as earlier said. Three, to ask Central Bank Nigeria to do more advocacy, enlightenment, and sensitization before this, this, program, this, this uh, policy is, is, is rolled out. Three, four. The Asian Bank of Nigeria to give not less than one year notices in any case of any planned issue of such, such similar notices that may touch directly or indirectly the small business owners in Nigeria. Thousands, sir, thousands of Nigerians now have come to live and do businesses through the POS. It's going completely with the introduction of this. And I can't understand how Nigerians will be able to manage our businesses that is dominantly in cash. Truly speaking, we should search our books and impose necessary legislative to ensure that we arrest this. If we have no powers, we can look at the powers of the CBN itself and see how we can divest the excess powers it has. My mother was and you discuss the issue of this policy wait now. Before Did you discuss the issue of the CBN policy so with them? I'm very passionate about it. It has nothing to do with CBN. Yeah. We should do cashless, and I support it. Okay. My mother was affected. A 93, four-year-old woman I, was kidnapped, I, and they requested I know your, cash. I know your mother very well. I'm shocked to hear that. I'm sorry to and hear that. She was amputated as a result of that. I'm so sorry so to hear I that. So I support it wholeheartedly okay. that we should go cashless. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you for the reference to the statutory provisions. Uh, Section um, 8, sub 4 and sub 5 of the CBN Act. Um, uh, I guess that works in tandem with the resolution anyway. And um, I guess if, we, if the resolution carries the day, we'll, um, we'll also be referencing those statutory provisions when the clerk writes for uh, the formal invitation to the CBN governor. the new currency has now reached the banks and that we expect that the banks will begin to um, to distribute those currencies to the members of the public who are their customers and um, trying to, to assure the president that things are going on well about the currency as well as issues bordering on um, um, 
uh, the cashless uh, policy. The Senate of the Federal Republic is National Assembly. They are legislative arm of the government, and from time to time, um, we brief them about what is happening, um, about our policies, and, uh, and um, I'm aware that um, they have asked for some briefings, and we will brief them. But I think it's important for me to say that the cashless policy started in 2012, okay? But at almost three to four occasions, we've had to step down the policy because we felt that there is a need for us to prepare ourselves and, and, um, and deepen our payment system infrastructure in Nigeria. Between 2012 and now 2022, almost or about 10 years, we believe that a lot of electronic channels have been put in place that would aid people um, in making banking, conducting banking and financial services transactions in Nigeria. Um, we will be reviewing from time to time how this is working because I cannot say that we are going to be rigid. But it is not to say that we will reverse. It is not to say that we will change timing. But whether it is about tweaking uh, some uh, amount to be a little bit higher or a little bit lower and all the rest of them, we will do so because we are humans. We want to make sure that we make life good for our people. We do not want to make life difficult for them. And that was the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emifili, after a meeting behind closed doors with the president in Dara. And uh, he was actually, you know, confronted by, you know, state house correspondent and he was defending the new cash withdrawal limit. Well, moving on, the Association of Mobile Money and Bank Agents in Nigeria, AMBAN, has kicked against the CBN's cash dispensing policy, saying it will not fly and protested that it will dampen business for mobile banking agents. Joining us right now is the National Public Relations Officer of the Association, Olua Shegu Elegbede. Uh, thanks for joining us, uh, Shegu, on Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. Thank you, Justin, for inviting me. It is indeed a pleasure. I'm sure you have been following uh, the discussion so far. You heard from um, the National Assembly, and of course, you heard from uh, the main man himself, as it were, the governor of the CBN. Let's just get your initial reactions. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, the reactions that have trailed the new cashless policy uh, is expected uh, because some of the details inherent in that policy were not uh, easily available to to us. It came as a, as a shock because we believe many stakeholders were not consulted, were not part of this. And I mean, we believe if something of this uh, that is very germane to our sector is, come, is to come up, uh, all stakeholders have to have inputs and also uh, see how this can uh, give us all a soft landing. As it is, uh, you'll see if you have read through the documents, you'll see that there's recognition for POF. And the only area where we have issues, there are no provisions as to how the POS agents are going to have access to cash more than 20,000 Naira because we all use the same accounts and we will be seen as customers. So for me, as an agent in my outlets, how do I service? A customers beyond the 20,000 Naira cash that is available to me on a daily basis. That is where we think the CBN has not taken enough arrangement, provision. They have not provided areas uh, in... So, so if we have this dialogue, we have this engagement, it will be easier for us to point it out to them that, okay, there has to be a categorization of accounts, of agents beyond the individual and the corporate entities that have been highlighted in the documents. All right, uh, Shago, uh, when I listened to the central bank governor, uh, he uh, was uh, trying to take us back um, in retrospect that the cashless policy has actually been in place you know, since 2012. Uh, that's about 10 years. And he feels by now, I know all the you know, channels for, you know, to transact uh, this particular policy would have actually deepened in 10 years. But uh, if I have to play devil's advocate, as it were, uh, are you saying that um, the CPN has actually added that the Nigerians are actually not prepared for this in 10 years? 
it has been a long journey and it, it's not a dash it's not a hundred meter dash it's a marathon and so many things have to be in place yes we have come a long way and at, as, as it is now uh you cannot say we have everything in place for us to go full-fledged uh, cashless in this economy no uh you you you, you also bear witness that uh, for for every period in the month the last days of the month and the early part of a new month um you 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 experience a lot of itches glitches in in transacting that is because the 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 infrastructures are mostly overwhelmed towards the end of the month and the beginning of the month and there are some areas in this country where you you can't you can say you can't get uh, quality internet connectivity or even uh, service uh, services are really not strong in those areas so what what do you expect those people in those areas how do you expect them to to live how do you expect them to conduct their financial services in those areas so what we are saying is of course in in cashless policy is the end point for financial inclusion we need to ensure that a whole lot of our people are financially included in the financial spectrum of the country before we can say we want to go cashless for now yes we can see gains uh here and there but we are not there yet infrastructure needs to be in place uh, a whole lot of things uh agents have to be more empowered bearing in mind that banks cannot be in all the seven or the four local governments in this country banks cannot be in all the seven or four it is not profitable for them so agents are the ones that are really going around so all right, all right, Shagu, 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 let me butt in now. I know over time, Amba, you know, has been having interactions uh, with the Central Bank of Nigeria concerning its financial inclusion policy and digital economy. Over time, are you saying that um, this issue has never been brought up specifically? I didn't get that question. I said over time, Amban, your organization has been having, uh, you know, meetings and of course and dialogues uh, with the CBN over its um, cashless policy and all and all of that. But have, are you trying to say right now that um, this particular policy has never actually been brought up? This new policy, as far as we are concerned, came as a shock to us. And like every every other Nigerian saw it. That's the way we also saw it. And this is this was coming on the heels of the first ever financial international financial inclusion conference that was held in Abuja two weeks ago in Abuja. This was not even a part of what was discussed. It was not discussed. As a matter of fact, a new policy document was launched at that conference for us to go uh, on a 85% financial inclusion drive by 2025. So if this just came up after that conference with all stakeholders nobody saw this coming no no none of the uh, license operators saw this coming it came as a surprise to us so it's it's it means there's a communication gap mm. and then that is where we feel we should do more we should engage ourselves more the stakeholders have to be in the in the spectrum of things they need to understand we all need to come together and see how this will not unnecessarily give Nigerians stress All right. in accessing financial services. All right, uh, because uh, there was an interaction with your national president, uh, Victor Olojo, and he says uh, that um, this particular policy will actually put a lot of people out of business. Let me try and understand in real terms uh, right now. Amban specifically uh, is like the association umbrella body which uh, houses all of these um, operators. In real terms, just how many operators, if you can just state specifically, let's just get some statistics, would be affected by this policy? By, by SANEF statistic, uh, we have, by data, we have over 1.4 million mobile money agents in the country today. This is an area that has provided jobs for over 1.4 million in this country. What it means is that if we do not tweak the CBN does not tweak this policy. These people will be out of jobs. And you, you, want to, you want to consider what Nigerians have been facing since the beginning of this year. And then 
add that to the loss of job and the, the, what their families will face. Some some persons who also lose their job who were employed by a POS agent to man one or two outlets for them. So this to us is not going to help our economy in any way. This to us, if the CBA recognizes that we exist, as the policy suggests that we exist, then there has to be a way that we will be catered for. There has to be a way that we will get cash. For ATM, it is self-driven. Banks will lock their ATM and move away. For POS, you need somebody behind the POS to operate it and to exchange cash with customer. And you cannot run that effectively for 24 hours in a day with 20,000 Naira access, to, uh, 20,000 Naira cash. So right. it is very important that we look at this from that angle, that for an agent to be effective, you need to have access to more than 20,000 Naira. For example, you, you look at the, the average withdrawal amount at an agent location. And if an agent is to service between 20 and 50 customers in a day, using 20,000 Naira as a benchmark, that means an agent averagely would need between 500 and 1 million Naira to be effective in his outlets. But the agent this itself, the agent, be, the agent itself may not be able, to, uh, except the agent is a corporate uh, uh, entity, as it were, will not be able to even withdraw such high amount to even as, service. As a, even even an, as an entity, as as a, as a corporate body, mm. the policy says you can't have access to more than five hundred thousand in a week. True. So, so you can't even have access to five hundred thousand in a day. Okay, so, but but Shago, what, what what sort of soft landing can be done right now? The policy should take uh, effect from next year. Uh, there is a bit of some time before it takes effect. In as much as the Senate has summoned uh, the CBN uh, come Tuesday next week, but what sort of soft landing is Amban expecting? Really, I listened to the CBN governor, and I believe is open to have. Uh, this document revised, not reversed, uh, uh, because of course, yes, the cashless policy has been pushed over time, uh, time and time again, and this is the time to start. But it has to be on, on in phases, and in in this regard, we are saying agents, the account agents, registered agent accounts, should have exceptions when it comes to access to cash. We use the same deposit money banks that every other person use to access our cash and there has to be a way that agents account will be exempted from the restriction to to twenty thousand era access to cash we should have at least by calculation i did the other time an average agent serves between 20 and 50 customers daily mm. using twenty thousand dollars as a benchmark we will need at least between 500 and 1 million Naira uh, access on a daily basis to be able to serve effectively. Otherwise, the ATM points will be jam-packed again. The banking halls will be so full that the banks will not be able to control right. and serve. And they don't want a situation where the country uh, will be in such a disarray that people don't have access to cash. And... And if people do not have access to cash, this has to be noted. All right. The infrastructure that we have, there are times that you get to a, a, a first station after you bought your phone, you want to use your card, and they say there's no network. Hmm. And then what you do the next day, the next time, I, I mean, the next moment is you bring out cash to sort that situation and move ahead. But if you do not have access to more than 20,000 Naira and you have expended 15 out of, out of 20,000 Naira you have in a day, the remaining five thousand cannot sort the fuel that you have bought. All right, thank you, Shago. Yeah, where are we going? Where are we going? So it's, it it has to be phased. It has to be looked at again. All right. Uh, deeper consultations have to be made. 
All right, thank you, Shego. That's as much as we can take from this conversation. We must say a very big thank you to you for, for all of the input and the insights that you have brought to, um, to this conversation. I will follow that story as it is. Uh, you know, it is a developing one. Uh, the central bank governor is expected to meet with the National Assembly members next week. I will bring uh, details to our viewers and uh, let them know how things go. Once again, thank you, Shego. He is the National Public Relations Officer thank of the you. Association of Mobile Money and Bank Agents of Nigeria. Nigeria Amban. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Thank you. All right, uh, that's the size of the show for this week, but we'll leave you with details of how Nigerians are reacting about this policy. Hi, I'm Justin Akadonia. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Currency policy by CBN uh, is, is, is something I find quite so quite funny. And the very first time I saw that thing, I was like, ah, these people are they are they are trying to manipulate and and uh, they're trying to manipulate and dictate how we live our life. You understand? So it's not it's not a very good idea. Okay, what if I have a business? I want to I want to I want to uh, I want to make a transaction in a business that will earn me more profits. And at that very moment, I need I need something. I need I need uh, a capital more than the the desired uh, this their yeah, whatever policy that they have made. So it's not it's not very it's not it's not a very good idea. What, where do where do you want me to get the other 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 fund to 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 actualize my 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 profits? It can happen because as you mean someone goes to the hospital and has a bill of forty thousand, thirty five thousand to pay, it 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 can happen. There is no way this can happen. How can you how can you withdraw thirty thousand in a day and pay the bill? How? When you have a, a maximum of twenty thousand to withdraw, someone has a surgery that has that he has to take a surgery and has to pay one point five million and has to pay for that one point five million has to deposit maybe five hundred or a million on the spot. How can he do it? They should review the policy. You mean we can only withdraw twenty thousand per day? Okay, what about people that are doing uh, that are in the markets? You want to go and buy stuff now? Okay, you want to buy stuff for your baby? Let me say, for example, now, someone that just deliver or about to deliver. Definitely, you want to withdraw more on ATM. She now said then that the response she gave me is that they would now do transfer. So I was not like, okay, so who will now sit down inside the market and be expecting transfer to come in? And don't you know that sometimes network is not always okay? So meaning that I want to buy stuff, 20,000, 20, I have to transfer to how many people am I going to do that to? If I have a 500,000 in my account and someone give me, I wanted to do a job and I need to transfer some money to my colleague. Maybe they just want to follow me to work. Like yesterday, I did to some transaction, 250,000, uh, 270. And this morning, another 150,000 transaction. How many times I have 20,000 in me? No, it's not me sense.